Hey guys, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to focus using the orchestrator HTTP request. How can you create an asset which is of a boolean type? If I ask you to do it manually, you generally go to the specific folder and you click on assets and you click on add asset, create new asset. And here in the type, you select boolean. Now the question here is, Either it can be true or false. Let's say you are creating a boolean variable with a given name. It has to be the true or false. Now how these values can be set? Let's see in this video. Now let me close this and let's open the Swagger page. To open Swagger, all you need is your main orchestrator URL. And here I'm going to type Swagger forward slash index.html. Let's keep it open. And the other thing that we need is postman.uipath.rocks. These are the two websites. Let it open. Okay. Now let's go to assets and we wanted to create assets. So let me copy this and I'm going to get onto my studio. And here, first of all, let's select the folder where I would like to create the asset. Done. And the method has to be post. You can see the method has to be post. So select post. Now the next thing that we need is the relative endpoint. This is the endpoint you need to copy from O data forward slash O data within double quote. Let me paste it done. Now the very important thing is building up the JSON payload. To build up the JSON payload, scroll down in the body section. I'm going to copy the entire thing to a notepad. And here we have to modify this entire body and make it a single line. The very first thing is we will omit all the double quotes from the keys. And also from the values. Done. Now the very first thing we will start modifying the values here. The first thing all your values has to be there in the in the single quote. Now the value that I would like to create is test 8. The asset name is test 8. Value scope I will leave it as global. Now here the type. Initially the type was text. Right. So here our job is to create a boolean type of asset. Now to create a boolean type of asset always ensure you are typing in the same way. These are case sensitive. So B has to be capital O L. Okay. Exactly the same way you need to type. So I'm going to use again quote single quote bull everywhere you have to have a single quote. Okay. Don't forget for the values you need to have single quote done. So this we have got it. There should not be any space. Okay. Bull. Now here we as we are dealing with boolean we don't need this parameter called string value. Now what is the parameter name that I have to add for boolean that you will find from the swagger. Go to the swagger and scroll down to the assets. Here in the assets select the post. Okay. Because we want to create an asset. Let it load. Now scroll down here you have a parameter called bull value. So this is the parameter I'm going to use. So I'm going to copy this and here I'll paste bull value colon and then I'm going to use a value called true. Done. Now let's remove the indent or the space. Okay. Now everything is set. Now I'm going to copy this. Here in the JSON payload, I'm going to paste it within double quote. Remember within double quotes, paste it. Now let's see how it is finally looking. Clear? We have given a name. We have defined it as global. The value type is bull and the bull value is true. Clear? Now uh, let me see if I have a asset called test8 before I create. Okay, there's no asset called test8. So that should be fine. Now let me save this. Okay, so everything is saved. Let's just run and see if it is creating the test eight asset with a boolean type. Okay, so you can see the execution is complete. Let me go and refresh. You can see the test eight boolean type of asset got created. And let's see the value. Yes, it has been set to true. So thank you guys for watching. Now do comment how many of you were able to create a boolean asset. 
you know you with the help of this video please do comment if you are able to do it simply say yes now let's move on to our next topic and see how can you create a integer asset in orchestrator 